This is Bob Anderson from Factory Direct Modulars. Um, I'm getting ready to do our June 2022 market update report. Um, it's going to be a short one, but there has been a lot going on. Uh, the reason it's going to be short is because I don't have much impact of these things we're going to talk about here yet. But anyways, I've only got three topics. Um, the first one is um, that uh, in the month of May, it was announced. I, I have the I have it somewhere in my email, but it was announced that uh, Champion Homes, who I used to work for, some of you may remember that uh, a long time ago, Champion bought Crestline slash Manus Homes, which is a one in the same company out of Lorenburg, North Carolina which happens to be one of the providers of uh, some of the homes that we have on our website and stuff. Matter of fact, it was, they are the manufacturer of the home that we built as a spec home last year, as our model spec home last year. Uh, anyways, Champion announced that they bought Crestline um, and uh, took over a $16 million backlog. They paid $10 million for the company I don't know much details. I don't know if it includes the assets, whatnot, because they, Crestline owns their own manufacturing facility down in Lorenberg. Um, so what does that mean? Well, there's some pros and there's some cons to it that I know right off the surface. The, the One of the pros for uh, the facility, Crestline, the facility, in my opinion, is that Champion will be able to bring into the organization, uh, you know, some real stable benefits, health insurance. I mean, they had all that stuff before, but it's from a much larger organization because Champion has 20 some facilities across the United States. Um, thousands of employees, been in business over 50 years, blah, blah, blah. And so anyways, it brings, just brings a, a lot of girth to the benefits package that they, they can offer in uh, at the facility for future employees and current employees and things like that. So I, I see that as a benefit. One of the other things though that I really do think will be a benefit, I truly believe this, <clears throat> is that uh, Champion brings, uh, brings a whole marketing team and a design team to the table. Um, they have uh, incredible ability to put together marketing materials for their products and, and, and design materials. And, and, and they really have, they really do a good job. I, I have to give them credit where credit is due. And that's definitely one of the places, um, back when I exclusively used to sell just champion products through factory direct modulars, my, my job was pretty easy because they had all the marketing material. I just had to, I just had to present it to you. Um, when I get into these uh, smaller owned organizations like HBS and Crestline, I had to learn how to be a, uh, a marketing person because um, they didn't have any of that material. <laughs> so, so that's where this YouTube channel comes from and, and a few other things that has you know, caused me to grow my business uh, better for myself. Anyways. So those are the two positives that I see potential that can happen at, at Crestline. Um, <clears throat> negative, in my opinion, is that uh, one of the negatives is, is it's another potential threat against um, an organization like mine because it starts to shrink the market of where you can source, um, you know, quality homes from, and. Um, it's kind of hard to fully explain what I'm saying, but in a short tidbit, what I'm trying to say is the less places that I that are available to buy, the harder it is for somebody who runs an operation the way I do, which is for the consumer benefit, not just the retail benefit, um, for me to continue providing product and material and services for consumers going forward. Um, because the big dogs of the world, the Claytons 
and whatnots out there, um, it's just a lot easier for them to force the narrower group of factories to not allow organizations like mine to exist because we are, I am a threat in, in, on, a long, on a customer by customer basis. I'm not a threat at all to these big organizations. I get that, I'm not that freaking stupid. What I'm saying is though, is I am a threat as, as an entity for how I do business. Um, so anyways, that's just one of the negatives that I know off the top of my head. <clears throat> um, I really respect the people at Crestline. Joe Manis, who started uh, Manis Homes, has been doing his business since the uh, mid eighties. Um, he's, uh, he's one of the uh, mainstays for the modular home industry throughout the mid-Atlantic region, without a doubt. Um, and so uh, I, I don't know his capacity going forward, but I certainly hope that I that when I go to their facility, I still get to see Joe. Um, I've had some good, good, good experiences with Joe in the past. Okay, let me get past that. <clears throat> um, Second is I have had um, some people that I have some that I have some good um, that I believe have some good information telling me that there are uh, some rumors and or facts. I don't have any as facts yet, but rumors that some of these facilities are starting to to pull down their prices. Um, one in particular that I have an exact dollar amount on is Fleetwood. I don't do business with Fleetwood. Um, again, it has to do with what it is that my business is catered towards, and I don't feel that they're a good fit, but, but again, they're a major player in the industry, and I was told by a retailer that's, that does business with them that I trust this retailer that they're looking to drop the price of their homes by a dollar thirty per square foot, so twenty six hundred bucks um, on two thousand square foot house. <clears throat> I bring this up because twenty six hundred bucks is not a big deal. I get that, but this could be the sign that the top is there, and we're going to start we're going to start coming back. Now, again, don't get me wrong. Many months ago, I asked, is this a temporary, is this transitory, or is this a mass reset? I'm telling you right, I'm still sticking to it. It's a mass reset. These prices will not go back to what they were two years ago. Uh, it's not gonna happen. This was an intentional mass reset by the government to help minimize the fact that they are overburdened and debt ridden themselves. So. It's a long story, Austrian economics, uh, <clears throat> that, would, uh, that would show you what I'm talking about. But anyways, the other rumor that I have is that Crestline themselves is going to be adjusting their prices down. Again, I don't have any figures on that. I don't, uh, I don't really know. They have, a tendency, <laughs> they have a tendency to not announce things publicly as much. You end up having to find out through the rumor mill with Crestline. I have a feeling that's another example of things that will change when Champion takes over. Because um, <clears throat> Champion is very good at announcing things, sending out flyers, telling everybody, here's what's going on, da 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 da. <clears throat> so, um, now last I want to talk about is, is, is us at Factory Direct Modulars. <clears throat> Um, I personally have been stressed to my le limit <clears throat> since January. I talked about that. And uh, it has not uh, really slowed down much for us. As a matter of fact, I think I have about eight houses to order in the next 30 days, eight more, nine more, something like that. And uh, we ha I, I had a record order of houses in the month of May for us as an entity. So it's, it has not slowed down. If anything, it may be, it may just be picking up some more steam, to be honest with you. Um, that being said, I like to look six months in advance. 
whenever I sit and evaluate my current situation. And because of that, um, I just want it to be known that I am working diligently at um, expanding um, my product offerings again. You know, now that we've kind of got the big C behind us um, and we appear to be moving along in life and prices seem to be stabilizing, um, I think that uh, this is the time for me to get back out there start having some communications with some with some sources and uh, expand our offerings um, I, I might even have a, I might even have a meeting um, next week regarding that um, I've had some conversations with a few places already so it's just a matter of trying to get myself in into a situation where everybody can meet the powers to be and we can make some decisions um, but no promises Again, um, I don't make decisions on a whim. They've got to have some substance. I got to be able to understand it. I got to be able to feel where the future's going with these products and whatnot. But anyways, uh, that's something that I'm working on. <clears throat> um, and let's see here, what else? Um, I have uh, I have some new, some more. Uh, more houses that I'm going to be putting up on our website here soon videos because we've got a Pebble Beach being set in June we have a uh, Seminole being set in June these are both houses I've never done videos of uh, we did I did three videos in May of three different houses I've never done before um, so you know it's we're, we're kind of we kind of got I'm almost getting my full entourage of what's on the website filled up so timing would probably be right to start adding some more products. But anyways, um, that's the market update for now. Oh, last but not least, when I talk about the prices from the factories, maybe may, some of them may be coming down. That's not what's happening in the field. Um, in the field, it is just, just continues to get brutal. Um, <clears throat> um, Man, I had an $18,000 well drilled last week. $18,000. <laughs> I used to build, I used to drill wells for seven, eight, nine thousand, ten if something was really bad. And I did an $18,000 one last week, and I don't. And and to be honest with you, I think that all the wells I'm going to be doing from this, I have, I have another customer. Uh, in Yadkin County, North Carolina, that uh, just told me he got a quote for his well because he was going to pay for it himself out of pocket. Now he's thinking thinking twice about it because it's going to be like fifteen grand. He was like, "Holy cow! Did you know these things have gone up that much?" I said, "Yeah, yeah," because all the sheathing and the material that goes inside the well, the casing and stuff, that stuff has quadrupled in price. Um, so, anyways, supply chain issues incompetence you know whatever so anybody have a good day um if you have any questions email me whatnot um and i will continue to be putting videos of new houses that i've built up on the web up on youtube and uh if there's any one of them there that you're interested in seeing just let me know and i'll talk to you later thank you